Hi everyone, today I will be talking about art styles and developing your own art style and how I got my art style. I'll start with that. My art style is just something that I kind of stumbled across. I didn't really um, like actively go after a specific style. I was just, I'm just drawing and this is how I draw. And so that's that. And advice that I would give to people who are trying to develop their art style is to um, really just stop trying to get a specific art style. And I'm going to explain that. Um, like, for me at least, when I actively try to do something, it doesn't really work out because I have my expectations set really high and if I don't meet those expectations I get really disappointed and discouraged so my advice to you would to be to not um, actively aggressively pursue your own art style just draw and over time which is what happened with me it just kind of developed and I really didn't try to develop it. Um, if I were to describe my art style, I would just say that I draw um, black girls mainly. I don't really draw that many guys, though I should, and I'm working on it. Guys are hard. I just feel like I don't do them justice sometimes, but I'm working on it. Um, another piece of advice I would give to you is to gather inspiration and to like gather up a whole bunch of images um, from your favorite artists or like photography things that really inspire you. For example, um, Pinterest. Pinterest is a really great resource and it's something that I use all the time especially when I'm having troubles coming up with ideas. But as it relates to art styles, um, on Pinterest, if you just type in like art or manga, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm probably not. <laughs> or if you like typed in black art or art nouveau or something like that, a whole bunch of images will come up and you'll be able to look at those images and you'll see um, like, well, I like how this person draws their eyes. I like how that person draws their nose. I like these colors. And you'll be able to apply that to your work. And if you do that enough, you'll begin to um, realize that you're developing a pattern. And um, like with me, um, this is probably true for everybody. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people. Um, I never really watched anime. I still don't watch anime and I don't read manga or anything like that, but um, I was really attracted to the art style. I still kind of am, but not as much as I was when I was younger. Well, I'll say that like I'm old or something. I'm not old. <laughs> I'm just 16. <laughs> but um, that art style was really attractive to me, so I tried to emulate that, but I wasn't really calling it manga, anime, or anything like that. And there are certain things from um, that art style that I apply to my art. For example, um, the way I draw my eyes are kind of manga-ish. Not really, but really cartoony and kind of manga-ish. When I look at it, that's what it reminds me of. And my noses. I really don't know where I got my noses from. That's just something that just randomly popped up. <laughs> but, um, the main thing that I would advise you to do is to just let go and just draw. Because that's what worked for me, and I know everyone's different, and what worked for me may not work for you, what works for you may not work for somebody else. But, yeah. I like to help people, and I hope that helps you somewhat. Did I even cover all that I wanted to say? 
I don't know. I don't have any notes. I'm not good at following notes because of reasons that I cannot explain. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to talk about what I'm doing in the video. So, recently, actually, I'm looking at my sketchbook now. Uh, what was this? How did I do this? You don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Gosh, I should really put dates on the stuff in my sketchbook, but I don't. So this picture that I was about to talk about, I don't know when it was drawn exactly, but it was drawn last week. And I was thinking about the art style that is used in the show Phineas and Ferb, which I used to watch a lot. And I really like cartoony stuff, especially when um, the characters don't really have a defined jawline, if you get my meaning. And the other day, I was kind of drawing my character, Malevolence, um, that's the guy on the left. Um, I was trying to draw him in the Phineas and Ferb style, but not really. I wasn't really looking at references or anything. Um, but the main thing I wanted to do is, like, not draw the jawline. Like, make it so it's, like, the chin just goes into the neck, if that makes any sense. Oh my goodness, this is so hard to describe. Um, but in doing that, I stumbled across this cool little art style, and I guess it's now my secondary art style, and that's what I'm drawing at the bottom. So, there you can see what I'm talking about. I didn't draw the jawline. There it is, right there. Yes. <laughs> and I say that to say that it's okay to have multiple art styles, and this is actually something that one of my friends, who is a fellow, feller, <laughs> oh my goodness, fellow YouTuber, her name is, um, Turtle Bun Buns, and if you like anime and cute stuff, you should subscribe to her channel, because her art is really cool, and, um, I think it was last year, I had said that I wanted to change my art style, and she said, you can have multiple art styles, and I was like, oh my goodness, I never thought of that, <laughs> which, it's like, why didn't I think of that? It's okay to have more than one art style because, I mean, as long as you're having fun, right? So, that was a helpful piece of advice that was given to me, and maybe it'll help you too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm breathing really hard because when I get to talking really fast, I don't really take time to breathe. So, I'm out of breath, and that's a thing. Oh, gosh, this is right here. Um, the girl that I'm coloring now, her hair is supposed to be like a pastel blue and purple, and like my brain was on autopilot mode, so I colored it black, and that kind of made me a little upset, but not really, it's like, okay. Blue and purple aren't natural hair colors anyway. So let's, let's just assume this is before she dyed her hair. Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just assume that that's what's going on here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what else to say. I have like two minutes left. Wow. <laughs> okay. This is getting weird. Oh. Uh... In my digital art, I started um, using purple and blue um, for the shadows, and I did that with my watercolor painting, which is what this is, and it turned out pretty good. The last time I did it, um, the purple that I used was too translucent, so it looked really, really weird, but I made sure that I made the purple a little darker than the skin tones so that it looked nice and I think it does look nice yeah awkward silence yay <laughs> oh my goodness I don't know what to say I don't know what to say oh I do know what to say this was going to be a Copic 
drawing, but I did the line art on watercolor paper. And that kind of upset me a little bit because it's like, Amir, what are you doing? This is supposed to be a Copic drawing. Well, you can use Copics on watercolor paper, but I prefer to use Bristol board or mixed media paper. But I did. So. I really didn't know what to do with these little thingies after I was finished, so I turned them into bookmarks. Yay! So cool! I can put these in my books and in my sketchbook and in my journal and stuff. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble on about art styles. And if you made it past the awkward pauses, thank you. You're awesome. So have a great day. And I post, well, I try my best to post every Tuesday and Thursday, but it is not guaranteed because anything could happen anything. Okay. Goodbye.